they have bungalows mansions all those things you name it take a chance live your life for just one night no looking back there are so many cases of those people being conned buying land in Kenya. So if you want to buy land, it's very important to follow the right process. So today we want to go and see some land to buy here in Kenya. But first, let's go and see an expert. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. So, um, so many of you guys have been asking me the process of buying land in Kenya. I actually have a couple of you people who live abroad and you've been asking me Miss Trudy what is the process of owning and buying land in Kenya and you already know you wish my command so in this video I'm going to show you how to buy land in Kenya the whole process so if you like this video show me some love with a thumbs up <laughs> leave a comment let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't already um, yeah so many of you guys actually watch my video but you haven't subscribed please if you're watching and you haven't subscribed just go down below here. Is it here? Okay, I think it's here. And just tap the subscribe button so that you can be getting notifications every time I upload a new video. So I got this dress from an Instagram page. I'm gonna leave their link in the description box. So if you like it, you can get it from them. Hey, welcome to London. Thank you so much. Okay, so what is land and buy? Uh, land and buy is a digital real estate platform that is so secure and there is a lot of technology that we are building behind it to make sure that uh, um, our clients are, um, 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 have uh, secure transactions, real estate transactions mm -hmm. and also you can be able to buy building materials and construct your house at normal rates, but uh, minus broker rates, you know, like um, the prices offered by factories and maybe quarries uh, just to make sure that um, you, you build your house within um, a justifiable uh, budget. budget and price. Because when, when you have brokers around, they always tend to increase the prices of products and real estate. That's amazing. Yeah, to make their own profits. That's the thing, you know, uh, I've dealt with brokers before, you find that it's better to do something like, you know, head on or straight because yeah. with brokers you find that you incur so many costs that you will get. For, for us what we're trying to do is to make sure that um, real estate can be seamless. You can be wow, able to that's awesome. Invest. So you're telling me that from the comfort of your office yeah. or from if you're in another country, and you can actually um, have your own house being constructed how you want it. Yeah without having to, you know, go to the site. Yep. So I have so many of uh, the people who watch my channel, yeah. they have been asking me what is the process of buying land in Kenya. You know, I, I've always said uh, buying land is more like um, dating. Oh, wow, okay. You, you just don't marry before you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you heard, buying land is more like dating. You don't marry before? Before you're able to know your partner. Oh wow, okay. Because you may be surprised. Mm. The secrets in marriage. <laughs> That's the thing. That's actually very true. You see, yeah. the point he's making, guys, so many people have been conned in this country while buying land because you think you've gotten the right person, you buy land, and then it turns out, uh, you know, that land belonged to someone else, you know, or it turns out that they might even give you your, what is it, title deed, but it happens that that's not a real title deed, or you find that other six people have the same title deed, and it's confusing. So how how can someone buy land, you know, in a way that is trustworthy? You know, they won't be called. Yeah, buying land is a process. Yeah. Uh, what what most people do is uh, they go to the Ministry of Land and do a search for the title, mm -hmm. and when search is out. Uh, so the best thing to do is go to the Ministry of Land. It's one of the processes, but it's not uh, what you're supposed to do and say it's done. Mm -hmm. You first start by visiting the 
insights. Insight in the area. Okay. And uh, some other street knowledge. Once you've seen the area, it's very important to go back without the bus going to kill there. Uh, and sometimes it looks Yo, fishy. guys, that's, that's wow. That's, yeah. that's, yo, are you guys listening? This is like really good information. So you're telling me that when you go to the site, you've noted land, you've yeah. gone, you've seen the land. It's important to go back without, without the, the person who the person who claims to own the land, <laughs> okay. and uh, talk to the neighbors, mm -hmm. and uh, get to know the actual history of that property. Talking to the neighbors is very important because they probably have information that you might not have. Yeah, yeah. So uh, from there, once you know who owns the property, uh, if it's an agent who's taken you, make sure even if they say the, the property, the, maybe the title is with the lawyers make sure you meet the owner physically. It's very yeah. important. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're working with an agent, yeah? Yeah. And also, make sure whoever whoever um, is registered on the title deed has their original ID. What you do, you go do a search on their fingerprints and you get a printout that should look like the ID. So that, you know, what, what most con men do, whatever age you are, I get your title deed. Uh, they look for a, a title, uh, um, some IDs of a lady the same age as you, and they make um, they, they just change some little information and use your ID. So what happens is you, you can never forge a fingerprint. So if I claim to own your ID and I present it and it looks original, some people will believe. But if I go and uh, get my fingerprints. And uh, no, uh, do a search on the fingerprints of the, whoever uh, claims to own the property. You will have a printout with original ID, and we know who is the original ID. Oh owner. my God, you guys! I didn't know that. So, I really didn't know that. That's like new information. Yeah. You guys. So if if you're truly gang member, like. We're never gonna get conned buying land because this is the information we need. Apparently, you can use the fingerprints to find out if the person claiming to be the owner of the land is actually. You guys, I will give this video a thumbs up. As at that point, is just fire. I mean, I'm shocked. Yeah. So something else you need to do is to make sure you go to the um, survey of Kenya um, around Rwaraka. Mm -hmm. You make sure that the title deed has um, what do you call it? A deed plan, you buy a deed plan. What is a deed plan? A deed plan is a plan is a is a plan of the shape of the land. Also it's also very important to buy land with a title deed. Most people buy lands that have certificates. Of which it could be safe, it could be unsafe. Now, my problem with certificate is um, if uh, it happens that uh, the owner of the original title hasn't given back the title deed to the Survey of Kenya for production of new alert numbers to cancel the bigger the bigger parcel because in most cases when you have a certificate is is because of subdivision. What most people do is uh, they say divide land, they wait until they sell every uh, parcel so that they can produce titles for their clients. So unfortunately some people take advantage of uh, the goodwill of our clients. We've had cases like um, somebody buys a property, they sell their whole parcel of land, their subdivided mm -hmm. lands, and then they take a loan with the original title and they disappear. Oh my god, so, really? Yeah. There are so many cases of, corn, of people being caught when it comes to land, it's scary. Yeah, so if you want to buy land, it's very important to follow the right process. Yeah. So always make sure you have a title deed. Always make sure you. Make Let me ask you, what's the difference between a title deed and a land certificate? Uh, a land certificate. It's, it's like an agreement between me and you. So the government doesn't recognize oh, you as the owner of the property. Really? Yeah. So the government recognizes the title deed, yeah, not the certificates. Yeah, yeah. The title deed is um, what is what we call land ownership. Okay. Everything else. I will call it in my own terms as a process to own your land, even the certificate. Okay. You are in, a, in the process of owning your land, it's not yet yours until you have the title of it. Oh, yeah. I get you, I get so you. So what happens is it's, it's very important to go get a deed plan and a map mm -hmm. so that you can come back with a local mm -hmm. surveyor and confirm actually the land exists at that specific place that you are shown. Mm -hmm. and it's also important to have a law so that they can be a witness. Oh yeah, lawyers are definitely yeah. important. They are a legal, a legal witness. 
that you did uh, bought that land. It's also very important to do wire transfer bank to bank. Something that you can keep records of. Oh yeah, Don't not just cash. cash. Someone tells cash. you, let's meet here, give yeah. me the cash and the land is yours. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Very guys, 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 that's dangerous. Make sure, like you said, you do like wire transfers. So you have the... I feel like I'm learning so much. I'm so happy you came. I'm learning things welcome. I didn't even know. You're welcome. Now you've seen instances where um, houses have been demolished. Oh yeah, that's so painful. Using so original. much money yeah. to construct a house and then it, it gets demolished. And you had an original time. Oh my gosh. Guys, let's try and avoid that. Yeah. You guys just share this video. If you know anyone who is doing construction, anyone who wants to construct, just share the video so that other people can be more informed. So now that you've heard from the expert, it's time to go and look at some land. Take a chance. Live your life. For just one night, no looking back. So the craziest thing happened just as we were entering Tattoo City, guys. We saw people who had parked their planes. You know, like people have money oh, in this country, in this Kenya. <laughs> God bless me. Can you see, guys? I've been told that people actually have planes here. They just come and park them here and go home or come to work. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see this private test that you're trying to zoom in. Um, if you think there's no money in Kenya, if you think there's no money in Africa, think again. So the more we drove, the more excited I got. We came across international companies like Bitco, um, Dorman's Coffee, International Schools. Hey, hey is this an airstrip that I, I've just seen? <laughs> Um, we've come across, um, you know, dams, beautiful places. It, this is insane. You've got to come here and see this for yourself. Guys, so we just branched from the Tamax Road. Now we are in the Maram Road. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, construction that's going to start on where we are. Look, you guys, this is a, like a coffee plantation. This is insane. Look at that. Wow, just wow. Right behind me, we have a dam, and it's so beautiful. Like the view here is just breathtaking to say the least. Can you imagine waking up to this view every single morning? Oh my goodness. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is land that has been subdivided, right? Yeah. Uh, like for example, this is this an eighth? This is an eighth. A full this is eighth. an eighth. I think the best the best thing with um, the Auckland project is that mm -hmm. uh, their air is full. Most people. Yeah, this eighth yeah. actually looks big. You know, then looks small. It looks yeah. Most big. most most people. Yeah. Most, most uh, subdividing uh, companies uh, always chop some little piece yeah. of your land so that they so can they leave with a small piece and no it's not necessarily their intention but they try to do it so that they can leave enough space for their own mm -hmm. but now that there is enough uh, land here so you're given your aid as it is and you can always confirm on your partition so, so if you own a plane like don't be scared this is the place for you okay <laughs> yeah. so, so that's like a, and this place is actually very secure like yeah because it's almost on, on our way here we have been stopped at so many places yeah it's, it's secure and uh, we have a lot of uh, police camps uh -huh. yeah so there's a lot of police camps around here so if you're thinking about security are you gonna be safe inside here you are 100 percent safe nothing to be afraid of Ruru is growing yeah. and um it's just it's a place this is what we call speculating investment you invest in a place where in a few years 
the price will go up in multiple times. Like you're telling me, this land here a couple of years ago, like for example, an eighth of this, this chunk was, was going for like 1.4 1. 1. 1. 4 million, and right now it should go for about how much? Actually, right now you can only buy from someone who's, bought, who's already bought a region, and it yeah. will go for not less than 6 million. From 1.4, that's why I love land, you guys. Land, like it grows in value. Yeah. See, this person bought this land at about 1.4 million. Right now, they can't sell it for less than 4 million. That is insane. That, that's another way yeah. to make money. Just yeah. buy land Keep and it, then sell it sell later. It. Yeah. Oh, Instead wow. of keeping your Yo, money, guys, you what do you guys think? Yeah, that is insane information. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about what yeah. he just said and give this video a thumbs up if you agree. Yeah, instead of storing your money in the bank oh guys it is, that are, is mind blowing what the, he just said business. so guys that now that i have shown you this land i want to take you to a place where you're going to see houses within tattoo city yeah there are houses being constructed okay. apartments uh, standalones bungalows you can always go and see everything guys are you excited follow me So this is another part of Tattoo City. This is a fully serviced area of Tattoo City. What I mean is that uh, they construct the roads, they, constr uh, they bring electricity and water. All you have to do is, you know, construct your own house. So I don't know what you guys think about this video. Myself, I am extremely excited. These are my kind of videos, you know, real estate, all those good things. But I, I just love such videos. So if you like this video as well, show me some love. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you want to buy land in Kenya? Have you been thinking of buying land in Kenya? What do you think about Tattoo City? You know, let's get interactive in the comment section. I love you guys so much for watching. Yeah.